안녕하세요 여러분 Hello everyone Good evening guys 자 안녕하세요 제가 오늘부터 같이 공부하게 될 스티펜이라고 합니다 My name is Stephen and I will be um, teaching you guys I will be sharing all my ideas regarding the skills test from now on Welcome to the EPS Topic Live Yeah So 이래 나 보고 있는 많은 viewers 나한테. 지민아도요. Hi. Oh, special mention to Mr. Joey and Reynald, Matet, Nelson, Ramil. Thank you guys for watching Janet. Hello, thank you for watching. And uh medyo na delay tayo ngayon, no, dito sa ating uh, FB live. Pasensya na po, pangsong video so Jason da. So Ramil, hello. Mahirap daw ba yung skills test? Ito nga kaya share ko sa inyo yung mga ideas na alam ko para hindi kayo mahirapan. Pati the whole process and guidelines, I will be sharing it all to you guys. So, makinig lang kayo mabuti. Akala daw ni Miss Mated is 10pm pa ito. Maaga pa pala. Oo nga. Sana nga, 10 na lang, no? Para mas sulit yung aming preparation. Pero, yes. Thank you for our 32 viewers this time. Amilu, Chowi, Ramil, yeah. Keep your messages coming. Just comment down below. Then that kid, just please say oh, you're good. Comment down below. Sige, babatiin ko kayo habang uh, naghintay pa tayo ng mga viewers natin. So, anyo ang sayo, aba, marunong si Sir Billy John Ignacio. Very good. Sa so, oh, na. Charo, good evening. Hello. De, sabi ni Miss Matet, pali daw. Pali is hang beer. It's double beer, ha? Pali, that's a spelling of it. Pali. Huh? <laughs> Pali. <laughs> Pali. Oh, Joey. Hi, Joey. Joey. Hello, Joey Fuentes. Uh, and uh, together with our uh, director, the, the man himself, Sir Nash Ang. Ayan. O, oh, diba? Pasensya na kinukuha kay Angulo ko dito sa kamer. Tapos kailangan pala yung maganda. O, nga. Ayan, diba? Ayan. <laughs> so, the first video live ko ito dito sa EBS Topic Online. So, lahat ng vlogs ko dito, guys, please bear with me. <laughs> okay. Amilu, pa shout out kay Sir Nash. And Sir Nash, oh. Shout out daw, sabi ni Miss. Adilip ko dito. Amilu. Oh. Oo. Nga. Okay. Okay, simula na tayo. At teka lang, may nagpapabase before anything else. May oh. nagpapabate, sabi ni Miss Milika. Oh. Pabati naman, sir. Happy anniversary to Madeline and Jeffrey. Happy anniversary po. Ginyong Chukanda. Pa-share eh, sa video. Share. Yeah, don't forget to share this video. And uh, keep your messages and comments coming. So share. Mag- one, two, three, four. Lang. Share. One, two, three, four. Pakishare po. Press share button. Share, okay, share. Gina, para mas maraming audience. <laughs> From Batangas, hello, Shaira Rosales. Okay, so ano nga bang in-expect natin na pag-aaralan natin today? Pag-uusapan natin ang skills test, especially sa mga nag-take na ng PBT exam, yung mga nag-take na ng, um, anong tawag nito, ng EPS topic PBT, no? Wala muna tayo sa CBT kasi nga medyo late ang CBT sa atin, pero... Kamusta? How was it? Siyong otis sa'yo, chalbastaya, yurubun? How was your uh, EPS topic exam? Kamusta? Ano yung mga naging experience? Lalong-lalong na sa mga first takers, first time takers. Oh, hindi ganun kadali. Ay, hindi ganun kahirap. Ah, hindi ganun kadali ang uh, EPS topic, ba? So, after you pass the first round EPS topic, anyway, malalaman natin ang result niyan on May 3 pa. So, abangan nyo lahat. Uh, May 3, Punta lang kayo sa website ng POEA. Doon yung malalaman ang official result of passers, official list of passers ng mga EPS topic. So, uh, yeah, May 3. Okay. Now, once you see your name on May 3, nakita mo, nakapasa ka, anong next mong gagawin? The second round of test. Kailangan mo maghanda, mag-prepare para sa skills test. At ito yung pag-uusapan natin ngayon. So, welcome sa lahat ng mga nag-take ng EPS, ng PBT first round, para sa inyo tong video na talaga gagawin natin today. So, we will be talking about skills test. Yeah, skills test. And competency, uh, competency and, and competency test. Yes, pero huwag kayong mag-alala sa competency test kasi optional lang yan. Kapag wala kayong mga certificates and um, uh, training certificates and experiences, no need to pass. Huwag kayong ma-burden dyan. Pero kung meron, I encourage everyone to pass. But it's just optional, again. 
Ang kailangan nyo paghandaan is the skills test itself. So, um, skills test is obligational. This is a mandatory. Kailangan nyo atinan yan lahat. Kailan ang skills test? It will be on June 1 to 6. And the result will be coming out on June 22. So, medyo ilang buwan pa. You almost have one and a half more one and a half month, no? Para maghanda pa sa skills test. Again, skills test will be on June 1 to 6. It's 6 days na i-schedule kayo. So, abangan nyo lang yung name nyo before June 1 to 6. Ilalabas ng POEA yung mga schedule sa venue and then sa time. So, abangan nyo yun. And then, yun, June 1 to 6. And the result will be coming out on June 22. So, that is the skills test. Okay, ano yung kailangan yung abangan sa skills test? So, bibigyan ko kayo muna ng brief introduction about the skills test para saan itong skills test na to. So, basically, this current system ng skills test, ay, uh, this is system limits the potential candidates whose Korean ability is low. So, di ba may mga tao na hindi naman ganun kagaling sa Korean. Pero, pagdating sa trabaho, eh, pasok na pasok sila, malaki yung katawan, and then may experience sila when it comes to manufacturing industry. So, ginawa ito ng HRD Korea, the Minister of Labor, and um, uh, Minister of Labor of Korea, together with the HRD, kasama ang ating POEA, they uh, introduced this skills test, actually, this is the second year of the skills test, para kahit mahina kayo sa Korean, but, yes, but uh, their competency, your competency for the job has been known great. So, even though ganito lang kayo sa Korean language, pero magaling naman kayo magtrabaho. For example, your ability for task completion, yung mga physical conditions nyo, healthy kayo, di ba? You're physically fit para sa manufacturing industry. And you have all these experiences that Korean employers want are this may. So, lahat yan. Kaya, para balance, na nag-gets nyo ba yun? Magaling ka sa skills test, you have to pass the first round, EPS 2 pick. Kailangan mo rin paghandaan yung, uh, uh, magaling ka sa Korean, you have to pass the EPS 2 pick. And then, physical ability mo, kailangan masukat din ng employers. And so, ito yung skills test, dito yung papasok. So, sa lahat ng mga nag-exam ng uh, EPS, kapag medyo yung, alam niyo, score ninyo is, yung score ninyo is, uh, anong tawag dito? Uh, pasang awa, ayan, yun yung term natin, pasang awa yung score ninyo, o nandun lang kayo talaga sa, sa kota na score, konti na lang, malalaglag na kayo. So, kailangan yung bumawi dito sa skills test. Ito, may chance pa kayo para, kasi, tandaan niyo this is, this is called a uh, first, uh, second point system recruitment, yan ang tawag ng HRD at PWA. It is a point system recruitment, ibig sabihin, pataasan ng score. Kaya kung ganito lang ang score nyo sa EPS exam, kailangan yung bumawi sa physical ability sa skills test. So ngayon, ang, ano yung skills test? Ang skills test ay nahati sa tatlong part. There are three parts. The first part of skills test is the physical strength. So ang physical strength, susukatin dyan yung height ninyo, yung weight ninyo, and then your hand grip yung lakas ng kamay ninyo kasi importante yan sa manufacturing sa mga factory your hand grip and then um, susukatin din yung kung gaano kalakas yung paghila nyo sa isang bagay the weight so and then the color blind ito unfortunately kapag color blind po tayo wala tayong chance to work in South Korea under the manufacturing industry kaya kung nag-aaral kayo ng Korean language ngayon sa mga hagon sa mga training center kailangan nyo na magdalawang isip kung colorblind kayo. Or, mas maganda, magpa-check up kayo sa doktor kung active pa ba or hindi na active or gaano kalala yung uh, colorblindness ninyo. So, kailangan nyo magpa-check up. So, again, sa lahat ng mga colorblind po, ngayon pa lang nilinaw na natin, there is no chance for you to work in South Korea under the manufacturing industry. So, at least, di ba, mas maaga, mas alam ninyo. So, Yan. So, kasama ang color blindness test na susukatin sa physical strength. So, that's the first part again. Physical strength. Your weight, your uh, your height, susukatin yan. And then, your hand grip, yung lakas ng kamay mo at may bubuhatin kayong bagay. And then, the color blindness test. So, doon naman is kailangan lang, huwag kayong, nako, bago ang skills test, kailangan you are physically well, physically prepared kayo. Mahirap po kasing pumunta sa skills test nang may sakit. 
Kasi di ba, masusukat lahat niyan. So that is the first part. Alam niyo kung ilang points ang physical strength? It consists of 30 points. So 30 points out of 100 points ng whole process ng skills test. So again, the whole process of skills test is 100 points. 30 points doon ay kukuhanin sa physical strength. So kung physically fit tayo, sigurado may 30 points kayo. Next one is the interview. Ito yung inaabangan ng lahat, ang interview. Abay, parang nag apply lang talaga tayo sa isang company, di ba? Kailangan ma-interview ka ng HR, ng Human Resource Officer. So, dito sa interview, marami tayong pag-uusapan dito. At ilan sa mga pag-uusapan natin tonight is your self-introduction. Ito yung mga interview. Self-introduction. And then, uh, what else? Self-introduction. And then, tools. Yan. Especially manufacturing tools. Dahil manufacturing tools yung pagtatrabawa natin sa South Korea. Manufacturing industry. So, manufacturing tools. Memorize nyo yan. Also, numbers. 1 to 100. Numbers in Korean. So, ano ba yung gagamitin when you talk about numbers? It has to be Sino-Korean. Later on, pag-uusapan natin yan. So, dapat memorize nyo yung 1 to 100 ng numbers in Korean. And also, what else? Um, mga competency questions. So, yun yung mga ilang mga tanong patungkol sa experience mo sa pagtatrabaho sa isang Korean company. Yan yung medyo-medyo mahirap. Pero, okay mag-alala, dito sa EPS Topic Online, isi-share namin yan sa inyo lahat. For free! O, oh, di ba? Okay, libre pa pala ngayon. Libre yun! Narinig nyo yun, libre yun, ha? Lahat yan, isi-share natin dito. And then, what else? Um... Movement instructions, importante yun sa interview. Kasama yun sa interview. Movement instructions, and then uh, additional questions, lahat ng mga questions under the sun. In Korean yan. So, remember, sa interview, it has to be pure Korean. Yan. Dapat, hanggang malohede, you have to speak in Korean language. Yan. Pero, in case, in a situation na medyo hindi kayo makasagot, hindi nyo naintindihan yun, yung tinanong sa inyo in Korean, at hindi nyo na express in Korean, meron namang interpreter sa tabi nung uh, nagtatanong sa inyo. Merong interpreter sa tabi nung HRD officer na mag interpret sa inyo in English and in Tagalog kung hindi nyo maintindihan yung tanong at kung hindi nyo kayo makasagot. So, sobrang kaba, di ba? So, yan ang mga explain natin sa interview part. So, I guess yan yung pinaka mahirap na pagdadaanan nyo at paghahandaan nyo talaga. Kailangan pabisaduhin nyo yan. And then, the last part is the basic skills. So, again, interview pala is 30 points. Ayan. So, meron na tayong 60 points. And the last 40 points, para makompleto yung 100 points natin, would be the basic skills. This is the last part ng skills test. Basic skills ay nahati sa tatlo din, pero mamimili lang kayo ng isa. Kung ano po yung pinili nyo when you register the EPS topic online, is it assembly, assemble, is it measure, or is it join? Yan yung tatlong part ng skills, anong basic skills. Assemble, measure, and join. So, ano yung pinili nyo when, when you did the registration, um, bago yung exam, yun yung gagawin niya. Okay, assemble, measure, and join. Yan. Sige, magbasa tayo ng ilang mga comments from Marinela. Ano sabi niya? Opo, ako po work ko dito is buhatan. Ayan, buhatan daw. Babae, o, oh, sabi ni Marinela. Sabi ni, ay uh, leg na, sabi niya, kailangan may abs talaga, malakas magbuhat, sir. Oh, di ba? Teka lang. Kailangan daw may abs. Aba. Amilu, video ba mo talaga to si Sir Nash? <laughs> Oo nga. Nasa ba Sir Nash? Ayan. Oy, si paki-like Nash. yung page also. Paki-share yung ano yung class natin ngayon. Don't forget yung palagi sinasabi ko. Share, share, share. Okay, share and like and don't uh, forget to leave a comment down below. Ayan. Okay. So, thank you, yeah. Catherine Princess, for joining. Ano pa yung mga tanong? Kanta na dyan, kanta na Kuya, ate, ate Catherine. Ate, 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 Princess, kanta, kanta, kanta. Okay, ayan. Meron na tayo mahigit 100 viewers. Thank you po. Sa so, video na. Okay, so, naintindihan nyo ha. So, yan ang skill test. First one is physical strength. Next one is interview. And the last one is basic skills. Okay, so, para mas maintindihan nyo yung buong process, 
ng skills test. This is, uh, I, I'm going to show you a short video. So guys, please watch this. 체력 시험은 양손의 악력을 측정하는 악력 과제와 배근력을 측정하는 배근력 과제로 구성되어 있고 외국인 근로자의 심장과 체중을 측정하여 사업주에게 제공하고 있습니다. 국내 사업장에서 일하기 어려운 색각 이상자는 다른 시험의 성적이 우수하더라도 불합격 처리가 됩니다. 면접의 경우 코리아 드림을 향한 외국인 근로자들의 열정을 곳곳에서 엿볼 수가 있는데요. 먼저 외국인 근로자는 면접관 앞에 서서 한국어로 자기소개를 합니다. 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 이화권입니다. 만나서 반갑습니다. 제 나이는 서른 세상입니다. 다음으로 면접관의 질문에 질의응답을 하는 기초대화와 해당 업종에 필요한 장비의 사진을 보고 명칭을 말하는 명칭 맞추기 평가가 이루어집니다. 손전등, 소화기, 서울 또한 해당 업종의 근무 경력과 자격증 여부, 업무 태도 등을 평가하는 기초직업 능력 평가와 전반적인 말하기 능력을 평가하게 됩니다. 회사에서 일이 바꾸면 어떻게 하시겠습니까? 제일 끝나면 도와줄게요. 잘 이때 응시자의 면접 장면을 동영상으로 촬영하여 사업주에게 제공함으로써 외국인 근로자를 선택하는 데 도움을 주고 있습니다. 제조업에 응시하는 외국인 근로자는 기초 체력과 면접 시험 외에 제조업 공통 과제인 킹꽃기와 링걸기에 의무적으로 응시해야 합니다. 킹꽃기 과제는 작업판의 색상, 모양, 크기가 다른 핀을 제한된 시간 안에 정확히 꽂는 평가로 외국인 근로자의 민첩성과 상황 판단력을 평가하게 됩니다. 링걸기 과제는 작업물 거리대에 규격이 다른 링을 올바른 위치에 거는 평가로 외국인 근로자의 신속성과 규격에 대한 인지도를 평가하게 됩니다. 제조업 공통 과제 외에 각 세부 직종별로 특화 과제 평가를 하게 되는데요. 조립 직종을 선택한 외국인 근로자는 제한 시간 안에 두 종류의 볼트와 너트를 조립 해체하는 조립 평가에 응시하게 되고 계량 직종을 선택한 외국인 근로자는 제한 시간 안에 지정된 부피와 길이에 맞게 계량 계측하는 평가에 응시하게 됩니다. 접합 직종을 선택한 외국인 근로자는 제한 시간 안에 지급된 공구를 이용해 접합 작업을 하는 평가에 응시를 하게 되는데요. 이때 각 산업별 전문가는 작업의 숙련도와 완성도에 따라 점수를 차등하게 부여하여 우수한 외국 인력을 공정하게 선발하고 있습니다. 오케이, okay, go. 오케이, okay, 야, 나반어디 봐. That is exactly the same. 얘는 the whole process ng skills test natin. So, ganun na ganun ang gagawin ninyo sa venue on Kailan ba skills test? June 1 to June 6. Tandaan nyo ha, this is just the second year of skills test dito sa Philippines. Sa ibang bansa po kasi in any other Asian countries, matagal nang may skills test. Pero actually, matagal nang may skills test sa Philippines, kaya lang dati kasi, it's um, compulsory. Kung gusto mo daw na mapili ka agad ng employer mo, pwede kang mag-skills test. Pero ngayon, hindi na po compulsory. It's mandatory already. So, whether you like it or not, basta napasa mo yung first round ng e-test to pick, basta napasa mo yun, you have to undergo skills test. Meron tayong tanong, nag-comment siya, uh, meron nag-comment sa atin, sabi ni Sir Jason Baguio. Nagsasabi, bagsak daw sa skills test, bagsak na daw totally. Totoo daw po ba yun? Well, kasi, 
first round is EPS topic. You have to pass that for you to proceed to the second round skills test. Ngayon, this is the last process kasi, the skills test. Kaya, ang gagawin nila sa skills test, yung total ng score mo sa skills test, i-add nila sa score mo dun sa EPS topic. Pagsasamahin nila yun, the total of 200 points. Kung ano yung total points mo, tsaka sila magse-select from the highest score down to the quota. So, kung hindi ka pumasok sa quota, automatic laglag ka na. Wala na pong chance na mapili ka ng isang employer. So, ibig sabihin nun, better luck next year again dito sa EPS topic. Sabi ni Sir Ping Lakson, dapat ito dapat ito sa suportahan ng gobyerno ang alalayan ang mga applicants. Ma maaalaman language ng Korean puro na lang private school mahal bayad, tas sandali lang turo hindi mo pa rin matutunan <laughs> grabe naman si Sir Ping Lakson pero may point si Sir Ping Lakson dapat ang uh, government natin ang POEA, meron silang you know, the quality of education when it comes to Korean learning dapat, parang nag-stop yung video hindi ba? hindi, tuloy-tuloy lang ah, okay. dapat pinapaigting ng POEA yung uh, quality ng education ng Korean language for you to work in South Korea. Tama yon. Dapat may mga ano sila. Tsaka dapat magigpit sila sa mga training center na, di ba? Hindi legal. So, dapat pipiliin nyo. Kung sakaling mag-aaral kayo sa isang training center, dapat the legalities, ganun na katagal nag exist yung training center, and the professors, very important, yung magtuturo sa inyo. Hindi po pwede na basta may konting alam lang sa Korean or nakakapagsalita lang, hindi pwedeng ganun. Kasi, Diba, dapat lahat ng bagay, it should be solid na ituturo sa inyo ng isang instructor. So, at least dito sa EPS Topic Online, ang matutulong lang namin sa inyo ni Sir Nash. Nasaan si Sir Nash? Yeah. At ako, Stephen, ay to share our ideas, our skills when it comes to working in South Korea. So, hintay namin kayong lahat dito ni Sir Nash, ha? Kaya dapat... Makinig mabuti. Don't forget to share, likes, and leave your comments down below. EPS Topic Online. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, yun yung video. Exactly na yun. Sabi ni Jeb Jeb, sasaluhin mo naman ako kung malalaglag. Ayan. Sino to? Kung <laughs> malalaglag daw, sasaluhin naman daw. Ayan. Okay. So, after the video, I will show you the whole process. Ito yung nilabas ng uh, announcement ng HRD and the POEA, sabi sa inyo, naka, nakalabas na ba siya? Ayan, oo. Oh, ah, okay. So, sabi sa inyo, HRD and POEA called this exam as the point system recruitment. Ang tawag nila is point system. Bakit point system? Kasi pataasan ng score. Kaya sabi sa inyo, kung pasang awa kayo sa EPS topic, sa test paper, kailangan nyo bumawi dito sa skills test. Lakas ang sinusukat dito sa skills test. At yung ability, ability din nyo when it comes to speaking Korean. Kasi may interview eh. So, kailangan nyo bumawi dito. May chance pa. Okay, mag-alala. So, dito sa point system recruitment, ano yung mga makikita natin? Ayan, I will show you. So, again, the first round would be the EPS topic. Second round of test is the skills test. Ito yung pag-uusapan natin. Plus, competency test. Ano tong competency test na to? So, if you see, if you can see, sabi niya dito, it's just optional because ang competency test ay uh, ito yung pagpapasa lang ng mga certificates and training uh, training uh, course sa POEA. So, kung meron kayong mga related uh, kung uh, this is for people who have work experiences in the chosen industry or training course completion. Kung meron kayong mga work-related experiences, nakapagtrabaho na kayo in a Korean company, in a manufacturing company, in a factory dito sa Philippines for more than a year, pwede nyong ipasa yung certificate ninyo of employment na yun. Sa POEA counted yun. Yan. Ang whole points ng competency test is 5 points. Okay, work experiences, that is uh, one point. Nandito yan, I will show you. Ito yun. So, for competency test, for competency test, meron kayong three points for work experiences. Kung nagpasa kayo ng work experiences ninyo for at least more than a year, makakakuha kayong additional three points. One point naman para sa mga vocational training course. At least 100 hours kayo nag-aral 
in a manufacturing industry. Hindi po kasama dito yung pag-aaral nyo sa Korean Language Training Center, ha? Hindi kasama yun dito. It should be related sa manufacturing industry. And the last point is the one who has a government-issued certificate. So, a total of five points. Itong five points na to, competency test, again, this is just optional. Kung wala kayong mga certificates, no need to pass. Okay, malino yan. So, first round is the EPS topic. Congratulations ha sa mga nakapasa na. Malalaman natin yan on May 3. And the second round of test is the skills test. Ayan. Okay. Plus the competency test. Okay. Ayan. So, kailan lalabas ang uh, skills test natin? Second round of test, ito. Para malinaw ha. Kailangan alam nyo. Okay. Ayan. So, para sa mga nag-exam na ng PBT, yung test paper, ito yung schedule, schedule niyo for the announcement of uh, skills test. Itipin off pa. <laughs> okay. This, the uh, registration period now is on May 3 and May 7. Pero, pero don't forget sa registration kasi igagayad kayo ng POE dyan. So, ito yung sinasabi ko, announcement of skills test date and place will be on May 25. Ipopost yan ng POEA and HRD Korea sa kanilang website. So, sa May 25, pag nakita mo na pasado ka pala sa EPS topic, yung test paper, pasado ka, abangan mo yung uh, announcement ng test date and place on May 25. So, again, ang skills test po para lang sa mga nakapasa ng EPS topic, yung test paper ha. Yan, sabi ni Miss Jen, kahit ano po position mo sa manufacturing industry, actually Miss Jen, hindi ikaw mamimili ng position mo sa manufacturing industry. Bilang isang employee, bilang isang laborer, ang kailangan mo lang gawin is to get, uh, kailangan mo dumaan sa mga proseso na ito. And then, wala kang chance or wala kang opportunity para mamili. For example, anong ibig ko sabihin sa mamili? Gusto mo sa paggawaan ng pagkain, food processing. Gusto mo sa, manu uh, anong tawag nito? Ano pa ba yung mga different kinds of uh, manufacturing? Sa paggawaan ng salamin, paggawaan ng bintana, paggawaan ng baga bakal, yan. Pagawaan, hindi ka pa po pwede pagawa mamili. Paggawaan ng bata. Paggawaan ng bata, iba yun. Oh, <laughs> iba sorry, yun. Uh, so it's different. So, in short, bilang tayo na nag apply wala tayong uh, opportunity to choose anong klase sa manufacturing industry yung babagsakan natin doon. It's the employer who will choose you. Tatandaan niya kailangan lang tayong sumunod sa mga proseso in working in South Korea under the manufacturing industry. Sabi ni Billy John Ignacio, how about NC2 certificate? Yes, NC2 certificate is um, ano yan, it's part of the competency test. Pwede mo yung ipasa sir Billy John. Yan. In one day lang ba lahat yan gagawin? Ito pong skills test na to na in-explain ko sa inyo. Isang araw lang to gagawin. Actually, it will just take about 2 to 3 hours. Okay? Sa 2 to 3 hours na yon, gagawin mo yung sinabi ko lahat sa skills test. Physical strength, interview, at basic skills. Di ba? Nag-uumpisa pa lang tayo. EPS topic is just the first round. You have to undergo the second round. Yan. Okay. So, okay na. Ano pa ba? So, this is the schedule. Tatandaan yan. Announcement of skills test date and place is on May 25. Ngayon, pag alam mo na yung lugar and uh, date kung kailan ka mag exam ng skills test, ito na. Actual skills test is on June 1 to June 6. So, again, nakaschedule ka lang ha. From June 1 to June 6. Isang araw lang yun. Nakaschedule ka. Specific date kung kailan ka pupunta sa skills test then. So, kailangan magpalakas kayo before that day. At kailan nyo malalaman ang uh, result ng ginawa nyo yung skills test? Sa so, June 22. So, para sa mga PBT, June 22 is the final result. Dito po sa June 22 na to, ito na yung pinakahuli. This is the final result ng uh, pag apply nyo sa South Korea. Pag nakita nyo, nakapasa kayo, ito na yon Kailangan mag-celebrate na kayo. Yan. Okay. So, nagsisimula pa lang tayo, ha? Ano pa ba? Any questions? Kung bagsak kayo sa skills test, katulad ni Sir Jeff, Jeff, buti bagsak ako sa EPS, sabi niya. Kung bagsak kayo sa EPS, no need to prepare for the skills test. Kasi ang skills test para lang sa mga nakapasa ng first round. Yan. Gilip text. Okay. So, ngayon, ano ba yung aabangan natin? 
Ano ba yung share ko sa inyo tonight? Kasi limited lang yung time natin. Nalate pa tayo, di ba? Limited lang yung time natin. So, so yung dami na natin na pag-uusapan eh. So, siguro for tonight, I will just share some tips sa inyo sa, anong gusto nyo? Interview. Yeah. I'm sure marami nag-aabang sa interview. Again ha, interview is, you have to speak, you have to listen and speak, you have to answer the interviewer. All in Korean. Hanggumal lo. All in pure Korean. Yan. Hanggumal. Hanggumal. You have to use hanggumal. Okay. Yan. Okay. So, share ko sa inyo yung interview ha. Ano yung uh, aabangan ninyo sa interview? Nako. Sa interview po, maraming uh, pag-uusapan sa interview. Unang-una dyan is the self-introduction. Yan. So, self-introduction, ito yung isi-share ko muna sa inyo, self-introduction. How do you say self-introduction in Korean? Jagi soge. That's how you say self-introduction, jagi soge. So, pagpasok nyo sa isang room, andun yung interviewer, merong camera ang nakaharap sa inyo, andun din yung interpreter. So, tatlo lang kayong taong uh, sa loob ng isang room. Isa-isa po yan, uh, one by one kayong papasok sa isang room. Pagdating nyo sa harap, sa center stage, sa gitna, sasabihin ka agad sa inyo. This is the very first thing na sasabihin sa inyo. Chagi so geju sa'yo. So again, ano yung sasabihin ng interviewer, the Korean interviewer? De, anyo sa'yo, chagi so geju sa'yo. Please introduce yourself. So that's how you say self-introduction in Korean. Chagi so ge. Dapat alam niya yan. Chagi so ge. My Korean chagi ya. Ah, iba naman nyo. <laughs> My Korean chagi ya. Chagi ya is different, ha? Oh, chagi ya. So how do you say self-introduction? Sasabihin ng interview sa inyo. Anyo sa iyo. De, chagi so ge ju sa iyo. Please introduce yourself. Yan. Pag narinig niyo yung chagi so ge ju sa iyo. Chagi so ge. Automatic self-introduction. So, ano yung mga content ng uh, self-introduction? Ano yung ba yung mga importante na sasabihin niyo sa self-introduction niyo? Of course, self-introduction ni mawawala. The very first thing na sasabihin niya, chot in sanin, anyang asim ni ka. Anyang asayo, anyang asim ni ka. Yan yung una niyo sasabihin sa... Yan yung una niyo sasabihin sa... Uh, self-introduction niyo. Okay? So again, when you do your self-introduction, first, don't forget to greet. Chot in sanin, Anyang asim ni ka rago ang nila. Okay, you have to say, Anyang asayo, Anyang asim ni ka. Pares lang yun. Anyang asayo, Anyang asim ni ka. And of course, you have to tell your name. How do you say? How do you introduce your name in Korea? I'm sure may mga background na yung kausap ko ngayon kasi I'm talking to those who, sa tingin nyo, pasa kayo sa EPS topic, ha? Sa test paper. I'm talking, I'm talking to all of you sa mga may background na sa Korean na pasa na yung test paper, yung EPS topic. I'm sure alam nyo na how to introduce yourself. So, how do you say? How do, first one is to greet. Anyasayo, anyasim nika. And to tell your name. Don't forget. So, how do you say your name? There are plenty ways in Korean to say your name. So, I would just give you some of those, ha? So, kagaya nito. My name is Steven. Jay Rumen Stephen Iraguang nita. Jay Rumen Stephen Iraguang nita. So, after you greet, anyasayo, Jay Rumen Stephen Iraguang nita. Or you can just say, Jonen Stephen Iraguang nita. Yeah, so is it your name? And then the next one is your, when were you born? Kailan ka ba pinanganak? Siyempre yung edad mo, yung age mo, sasabihin mo. So how do you say, how to introduce when you were born in Korean? So in Korean, I was born on, this is just an example, I was born on May 5, 1991. How would you say that in Korean? So nun, 1991년 5월 5일에 태어났습니다. Oire teo na sumira. Hirap naman yun. Nosebleed. Oh, medyo mahaba. Yung year pa lang, di ba? How do you say 19... Ship pa, ship pa, ship pa. How do you say 1991? Chon, kube, gusip il nyon. Yan, ang haba po. So, don't forget to complete your birthday. Hindi gano'n. Don't forget to complete your birthday. Nga pala, in Korean style po, it has to start with... Kupal Imnida. Kupal, o, 98. Kupal, Kupal Imnida. Kupal, o. Huwag kayo makinig kay Sir Nash. Okay, so... No, no, Kupal Imnida. Introduce, kailan ka pinanganak? You say in Korean, So, nun, 1991 nun, uwal, uwire, teo na sumnida. So, when you say teo na sumnida, ayan, teo na sumnida, ibig sabihin, I was born. Teo na sumnida. I was born. Okay, next one is uh, where are you from? 
Diba? Although it's very obvious na you are from Philippines, at nagahang dito. Dito, dito. Kaya amoy siya dito. Philippines. Okay. Even though it's very obvious na nasa Philippines naman kayo, but it's proper pa rin to say, I'm from Philippines. So, how would you say that? I'm from Philippines. You say, Pilipine, Pilipine. Sa wawas sa nila. Oh, dito sa example natin kasi, edit lang natin ha. Cambodia, sa wawas sa nila. But of course, kailangan kabisiging niya Philippines. I am from Philippines. Pilipine, sa wawas sa nila. Pilipine, sa wawas sa nila. So, again, first is to greet. <laughs> 안녕하세요, 안녕하십니까. And then you tell your name. 저는 Stephen이라고 합니다. But don't forget to say your complete name, ha? Oh, Stephen이라고 합니다. And kailang happy na nganak, your birthday. 저는 1991년 5월 5일에 태어났습니다. And where are you from? Yan, 저는 그가령 필리핀에서 왔습니다. That's how you say. Oh, next. Oh, kung married ka na ba? Ilan taon ka? Kailangan sabihin mo rin yan. It's part of the self-introduction. So how, how would you say? For example, I'm 20 years old and not yet married. I'm not yet married. How would you say that in Korean? So this is an example. Join with me. Che nainen sumo sarigo. Kyoron ajik an hesunido. That's how I say in Korean. Che nainen sumo sarigo. I'm 20 years old. Sumo sarigo. I'm not yet married. Kyoron ajik an hesunido. So, gyoron is the term for kung married ka na, gyoron in Korean. Gyoron is if your guys are already married. Pero kung hindi pa, this is how you say it. Exactly the same. You tell your age, so nun, sumasari ko, gyoron na Okay, next one is your part of the self-introduction. Is your hobby. You have to tell to the interviewer a little bit of yourself, di ba? What are the things that you like doing the most? So that is hobby. How would you say hobbies or hobby in Korean? Chimi. Chimi. So how would you tell your hobby to the interviewer? You would say, Je chimi ne. Je chimi ne. My hobby is Je chimi ne. In our example, my hobby is traveling. <laughs> 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 so how would you say my hobby is traveling? Je chimi ne. Yoeng agi joamida. Je chimi ne. Yoeng agi joamida. So yoeng. Masyado atang mabwa. Yoheng is the traveling to travel. Yeah, that is Yoheng. And when you say Joamda, I like doing it the most. Joamda. So how would you say your hobby? Je chiminen, je chiminen, yoheng agi Joamda. Yeah. If your hobby is cooking, mahilig kay magluto, you can say je chiminen, yori hagi Joamda. Je chiminen, yori hagi Joamda. If your hobby is watching drama, sa mga addict sa panonood sa Korean drama dyan. Napanood nyo ba yung uh, mga no. drama ni Sir Nash? Sir uh, Nash, huh? ano yung mga drama na yun? Sabi mo sa kanila. Yung, pala, yung palagi namamatay. Yung oh, parang pinag, pinagbibitangan lagi, tapos palagi drama? namamatay. Oh, napanood nyo ba yun? <laughs> If you guys watch that movie, you can tell it as your hobby. I love watching drama. You say, Jechiminin, drama bogey, jawa nila. Drama bogey, jawa. Jechiminin, porn hub bogey. Oh, <laughs> well, hachi mala ko. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Kugo andeo. Di pa edi yan. Porn daw eh. Di pa edi yan. Okay. Yan. Uh, next one is, ito, mahalaga po to for the self-introduction is to introduce your family as well. Okay, so, for example, you're six in your family. How would you say that? Je kajugun. Je kajugun, yosot myong yung nita. Ganun lang kasimple. Yosot is six in Korean. Yosot myong. Yosot myong. So, how would you say? We are six in the family. You can say, 우리 가족은 여섯 명입니다. 우리 가족은 or 제 가족은 빨리단 게 나든 또는 우리 가족은. 음. Mm. Oh, it should be 우리 가족은 제 가족은 여섯 명입니다. 우리 우리 가족은 we are six in the family. 가족 is family. 아, 다른 단어. 우리 가족은 여섯 명입니다. 야. Yeah. And 신우 신우 용 six members 네요. Of course, you have to introduce your own family. Pero tandaan niyo sa Korea, just the immediate family lang. Kung may sarili na kayong pamilya, yun lang yung sasabihin niyo. Huwag niyo nang sabihin yung lola niyo, lolo niyo. Okay, just the immediate family. So, we are six in the family. Uri ka jugun, yung sabi niyo nga. How would you say? I have a dad, I have a mom, I have a sister, brother, and a younger sister. Tama ba? Anin ba lahat yun? Siyempre, kasama ko doon. So, in Korean, how would you say? Abuji hago. May space pala dapat dyan. Abuji hago. Doon kayo mag space ha? Yan. So again, I have a dad. How we say? Habuji hago. Habuji hago. Next one, I have a mom. Omuni hago. But ganun yung spelling naman. Oh, no. Ay, ano wala. Ano yari? Okay, so... Uh, 
어머니 하고 아 아버지 하고 어머니 하고 next is uh, okay, 어머니 no, 하고 okay, go lang. speak okay mm-hmm. 아버지 하고 어머니 하고 my space din I have a sister if you guys are guys if you guys are male you, you call your sister as Nuna diba but for girls you call your sister as Onni so 아버지 하고 어머니 하고 언니 하고 누나 하고 and you have a brother 형 하고 and you have a younger sister 요 동생 하고 저입니다 the last one is 저입니다 it means and me so I have a dad a mom a ate a kuya a younger sister and I and lang yun Again, in Korean, 아버지 하고, 어머니 하고, 누나 하고, 형 하고, 여동생 하고, 저입니다. So that's how you briefly say, introduce your family. Okay, next naman is, ito po, this is just optional. You can introduce kung anong ginagawa ng dad. Pero kasi, alam niyo, pwedeng itanong sa inyo yan. What is your dad doing? What is your mom doing? Totoo po yan, it's a possible question. Pwede itanong niya na interviewer sa inyo. Anong ginagawa ng dad mo? So, pare, maiwasan nyo na yung ganong question. Mas maganda po na prepared na to. Memorize nyo na. Kasama na sa self-introduction nyo. So, how would you, for example, your dad is a farmer. How would you say, Je, abujinin or uri abujinin? Again, uri abujinin. It's proper kasi uri abujinin in Korean. Okay, uri abujinin. How do you say farmer? Nungsa. Nungsa. So, uri abujinin, nungsa ego. And then your mom is a housewife. She's a plain housewife. You can say, 어머니는 주부입니다. So, 우리 아버지는 농사이고, 어머니는 주부입니다. Yeah. Example lang po itong sinasabi ko sa inyo. Halimbawa lang to. So, i-edit niyo lang yun sa inyo kung ano talaga yung profession ng tatay at ng nanay niyo. This is optional. Pwede niyong hindi ilagay yung trabaho ng tatay at nanay niyo. Pero sabi ko nga po sa inyo, maaari kasi itanong to sa inyo ng interviewer. Anong ginagawa ng tatay? Anong ginagawa ng nanay? Ganyan. All in Korean. Tandaan nyo yan. Okay. Next one is, ito, part of the self-introduction is the work that you're doing right now. What keeps you busy? You know, what's your profession? Ano bang ginagawa mo before you apply in uh, EPS Topic in South Korea? What's your real job? So, I don't have any work up to now. Paano kapag wala kang trabaho? How would you say that in Korea? Wala pong masama na sabihin niya talaga wala kayong trabaho right now or kung ano man yung trabaho niyo. Ang mahalaga, you connect to the interviewer, di ba? Alam niya yung a brief background about yourself. So, for example, wala kang trabaho ngayon. How would you say that in Korean? 저는 지금까지 직업이 아직 없습니다. Ayan. 지금까지, ibig sabihin ng sigimkaji, up to this day, sa ngayon po kasi, sigimkaji, oh, 지금 아직 없습니다. I don't have any work. What is work? 직업. It's the job, profession, the occupation, 직업. Okay, so, 지금까지, 저는 지금까지 아직 직업이 없습니다. That's how you say that. Okay, that's why, dun mo ipapasok yung, kaya po, I want to work in South Korea. 그래서 한국에 가서 일하고 싶습니다. Ayan. 그래서, is that's why, 그래서 한국에 가서, I want to go to Korea to work. 일하고 싶습니다. So, this is an example. This is just an example again. How would you say, I don't have job po kasi, kaya the reason why I want to go to Korea, I can say, 저는 지금까지 직업이 아직 없습니다. 그래서 한국에 가서 일하고 싶습니다. Okay. So, yan. And don't forget to say this as the last part of your self-introduction. Eh. Maganda po to. This is very common here in South Korea when you apply for a job or work. Memorize nyo to. I recommend this phrase. How would you say, please do me a favor? Or, um, I'm excited to work with you. Yan din yung ibig sabihin yan in Korea. Ha? Or, uh, you can count on me. Uh, do me a favor. Take note of this word. This is the last phrase that you can include in your self-introduction. You can say, Jal butak dirim niba. So, how would you say that? Please do me a favor. Or, I'm excited to work with you. Jal butak dirim niba. Okay, jal butak dirim niba. 감사합니다. Okay, 마지막 인사는 기억하지, uh, 잊지 마세요. Don't forget it. 마지막 인사는 your last greeting is 감사합니다. Okay, okay ba tayo doon? Okay. Okay. So, ilang mga comments natin. Paano daw kapag disease na yung father niya? Ah, okay. Maganda yun. Paano pag gusto mong sabihin na patay na yung tatay mo? This is just a phrase. You say, 우리 아버지는 돌아가셨습니다. 
우리 아버지는 돌아가셨습니다. So, singing like that, s i n g i s Cholly Espirito Gutierrez, you say, 돌아가셨습니다. It is being known, my father passed away already. 돌아가셨습니다. 우리 아버지는 돌아가셨습니다. Yeah, not me, Miss Cholly, okay. Oh, Billy John, sabi niya, how many minutes daw ang self-introduction? Ayun na nga. Pagpasok mo sa isang room, sasabihin sa'yo, introduce yourself, and then at least you prepare, dapat memorize nyo ito ha, wala itong kopya, all in Korean. At least you prepare five minutes of self-introduction. Ganun yun. Five minutes of self-introduction. Lahat itong sinabi ko, dapat makabisa nyo ito in five minutes. So, again, how would you introduce your name? O, oh, 안녕하세요. 제 이름은 스티펜이라고 합니다. Or, 저는 스티펜이라고 합니다. And then, you tell your birthday when you were born. 개인 카 피나나. 저는 1991년 5월 5일에 태어났습니다. And then, you tell a brief background about your family. 우리 가족은 여섯 명입니다. 신신이 패밀리는 아버지하고 어머니하고 누나하고 형하고 여동생이 그리고 초입니다. Yeah, that's how you say. And then um, your uh, job occupation, a little bit of your hobby. Then 제 취미는 여행하기 좋아합니다. And then your job. 고만한 트라바오. You can say I don't have job right now. 저는 지금까지 직업이 아직 없습니다. So, I want to go to Korea. 그래서 한국에 가서 일하고 싶습니다. And the last part, this is very important. You say, I'm excited to work with you. 잘 부탁드립니다. 감사합니다. And don't forget to smile. So, that's it for our self-introduction. What is self-introduction? 자기소개. Ayan. Isang part lang po yan, ha? marami pa kayong pag-uusapan sa interview. Pero hindi muna natin yung pag-uusapan tonight. Okay? So, pero ano yung i-explain nyo sa interview? After nyo mag-self-introduction, kakausapin din kayo about additional questions. Ito yung sinasabi sa inyo. May mga karagdagang tanong sa inyo. And papiyawan lang natin sila kung ano yung mga additional questions na yun. Okay? Ano yung mga expected questions nyo na pwede itanong sa inyo ng interviewer? Okay? Ano sa additional questions? Uh, baba pa yata? Yan. Happy awan lang namin kayo, pero pag-uusapan natin ito next time. Pwede itanong sa inyo about your birthday, about the date today, about the day today, about your family. Pwede na lang ulitin yun sa family mo. Okay. And then, about uh, how did you come here? Sabi niya sa Korean. Oh, and then, how long does it take from your house to here? Additional questions po yan lahat. Anything under the sun. What's your hobby? What's your favorite color? Why do you want to go to... Ayan. Ang dami, di ba? Additional questions. So, sorry for additional questions, tatanungin din kayo sa numbers. <laughs> Paano po kapag may ka-give-in ka? Kala- <laughs> ka? Nako, hindi na siguro importante na sabihin kung ka-give-in lang. Okay, so, vocabulary. Okay. Ten minutes na lang. Ayan. Sige. So, ano pa ba? So, aside Bukabla. from self-introduction, meron kayo additional questions and then numbers. Tatanungin kayo ng interviewer about the numbers. Next time natin yung pag-uusapan, tatanungin din kayo about colors and then about uh, competency questions. Yung mga related questions sa trabaho. Okay. All in Korean yan. And this is the very important din, manufacturing tools. So, kailangan may mga alam kayong manufacturing vocabularies. Nasaan ba yun? Okay na. Dapat may alam kayong mga manufacturing vocabularies, um, manufacturing uh, tools, mga vocabularies na alam nyo when it comes to manufacturing. So, manufacturing tools lang at least ang uh, ma-memorize ninyo. So, yun, you're good to go. So, for Aksulat some examples, yes. Ano daw? Hindi, sulat sa comment section. Ah, Yung okay. Sa yes, oh, so... Para mas maging masaya yung ating live class ngayon, you have to partip- participate with me. So, gusto ko guys, you have to comment the vocabularies that you will see on the screen. Yan. Join me. Catch you kung buha sa'yo. De. Okay. So, again, Una. this is part of the interview is to mention, to memorize some of the manufacturing tools. So, ilan sa mga manufacturing tools na pwedeng lumabas sa interview ninyo. Yes, number one, let's talk about vocabulary. Oh, we, cha. Si cha kagisimda. The first one is pipe wrench. So, how do you say that in Korean? Again, picture lang po yung ipapakita sa inyo, ha. Picture lang yung ipapakita ng interviewer. 
So you have to tell that in Korean. How do you say this picture in Korean? So how do you say pipe wrench in Korean? Pipe wrench. Yes. Sulat. Please comment down below. Sa Next. kailangan, di ba? Maroon tayong magsulat in Korean. Next. So pipe wrench. Kadaame. First one is the box. So if you see, how do you say box in Korean? Box. Box. Sanja. Pero the other word for box, it's very easy, is sangja. Sangja din po, you have to take note. So, can you write box in sangja in the comment down below? Yes, box sangja. And that's how you say box sangja. Itala. Okay. Kadame, the next one is. Here we go. We have. Uh, okay, sorry, wait, wait, wait. Go. Okay, the screwdriver. How do you say screwdriver in Korean? Driver. Driver. Ito pong mga sinasabi natin ngayon is part of the manufacturing tool. So, you have to memorize all these tools. Yeah. Very good, Miss Krisa. Tam tampoko. Pipe wrench. Very good. Correct spelling. Chari style. Sukisinda. Okay. So, please type screwdriver. How do you say? Driver. 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 Okay. Hindi yung driver ha. Iba yun. Jun Giza yun. Yung driver. When you say driver, it means a screwdriver. Yeah, important yan. Driver. Please comment. Driver. Driver. Okay. Bebe Twinkle. Baksi. Very good, Miss Krisa. Oh. Orland. Baksi. Very good. Charista. Sangja. Yan. Very good, Miss Bebe Twinkle. Sangja is the correct spelling of box. Okay. Kadame. The first, the next one. Could you go? We also have the. Hanan tawag sa pala. Very easy. Sap. In Korean. Sap. Sap. Okay. Kailangan mo ata niyan. <laughs> Grabe. <laughs> so, pala, sup. That's how you say in Korean. Sup. Okay. Please comment down below. Sup. Oh. Amelu Dax. Charis tayo. Precious Kim. Charis nda. De. Mekdai. Oh, Max. Charis tayo. Very good. Sa mga nagpa-participate sa atin yun. Please share this video. Don't forget to comment. Krigo, important ito ha. Lahat ito lalabas po. Sinasabi ko sa inyo, lahat ito lalabas sa interview. Ah, lahat ng mga pinapakita natin ngayon, maaaring lumabas sa mga manufacturing tools during your interview. Pero, ilan lang po yung tatanungin sa inyo? Depende. Yung iba, lima yung natanong. Based on the experiences of, uh, based on the experiences, based on my experience then, based din sa experience ng mga naging student ko, yung iba, limang tools lang yung tinanong sa kanila. Yung iba naman, pito. Iba, walo. So, depende. Kaya, mahalaga, memorize itong lahat ng vocabulary nito. Could you go? We also have the switch. Anong tawag sa ating switch? Switchy. Switchy. Please, comment. Switchy. Ha? What's the correct spelling of switchy? Switchy. Yan. Part of the manufacturing tools. Kasama yan. Switchy. Okay. Switchy. Oh, please come in. Baby Twinkle, Charisto. Oh, no, Charisto. Oh, Daryl Fernando, sab, very good. Okay. Sabi ni Sir Ariel, saan daw pwede mag-download ng tools? Dito, sa EPS Topic, ida-download natin ngayon. EPS Topic Online. Okay, Charisto. Could you go? We have the weighing scale. How do you say? Timbangan in Korean. Jowl. Jowl. That's how you say scale or the wing scale. Jowl. In Korean. Jowl. Comment down below, please. Jowl. Yeah. Jowl. Pretty good. We have the sanitation suit. Yeah. Kasama din to sa manufacturing tools. We sing book. We sing book in Korean. Ang gumalo. Tukay hair deyo. We sing book. That's how you say. We sing book. Yeah. Sanitation. Last two. Okay, and the table cart, yan, anong tawag dito? Decha, in Korean, decha. So, maaari itong lumabas sa, maaari itong itanong sa inyo sa interview under the manufacturing tools. Decha. Decha. Oh, chari sa bebe twinkle, matet, kwiri min. Was it Kaiser? Chari sa mba. Good, good, good. Chari sa mba. Oh, tagkuhanan sa hamdiri, no? Man, man. Dami nagka-comment. Very good. Precious Kim. De, wajaw, wajaw. Good, good. Shingeri, Shingegi, Shingegi Kyojin. De, jayim nila. Oh, charis nila. Very good. Correct spelling. So far sa lahat naman nagka-comment ha. Tama yung mga spelling mo. Very good. Daryl Fernando, thank you for watching. Joel, Krisa. Okay. Next tool is the... Anong tawag dito? Ruler. Pero 
Mi, ano man tawag dito sa akin? Uh, tape measure. Yeah, tape measure. No? In, not exactly rule, but how do you say? Julja in Korean, tape measure. So, hindi ito nawawala sa kahit anong uh, factory. I'm sure meron lahat nito. Kaya, maalit yung lumabas. Tape measure is Julja or the ruler. Julja in Korean. Julja. Please comment. Julja. Finally. Alam niyo po, importante na nagpa-practice kayong magsulat in Korean. Kaya itong pagko-comment ninyo in Korean, this is very important. No, para kapag, alam niyo kasing i-type ang isang Korean with the correct spelling, if you know how to write, to type in Korean, it's easy for you to memorize it. Kaya one way of uh, memorizing many vocabularies is to write it or to type it using your computer or cell phones. So, that's it for the meantime. Yan muna ang uh, pag-uusapan natin. Yogi Kaji, matchigisunda, yorubun. Okay, any questions? Sa Hoshi, jilmun inun saram diri, that could you jok ji jisay out, please comment down below if you have any questions. Habang naging hintay? Yes. At habang naging hintay, okay. sino yung mga nagko-comment sa atin? Sino yung mga nagko-comment sa atin ngayon? Ha? Type your questions. Ano ba yung mga questions nyo no, regarding interview, yung napag-usapan natin tonight, and regarding skills test? Okay, Ariel, Julja, Tarasinda, Kiza. Okay, very good. Was it? Very good. Okay, please type your comments. Ani, okay, sabi ni Miss Jen, sir, any tips po para mahasa sa pronunciation ng Korea? Any tips? I think when it comes to pronunciation, is better. I think it's better to have a Korean friend. Yeah, that's a big Korean friend. Go. Anong Korean it's ka better dyan? to have a Korean friend. Hindi ako Korean na. Di si Chris Opa na <laughs> Okay. So, katulad ni Chris Opa, kailangan meron kayong uh, yung napapractice Ay, niyo conversations niyo with a uh, Korean native. So, in that way, you practice how to listen, you practice how to make a conversation, and then yung pronunciation will gradually increase. So, and then, kung wala kayong mahanap na Korean upa sa Philippines, you can watch drama. Okay? Hanggang drama. Why is that? You have to watch Korean drama. So, kasi sa Korean drama, culture, makikita niyo dyan. Ah, ganyan pala sila sa Korea. Ah, ganyan pala sila magsabi ng ganito. Ganyan pala sila magmura. Ganyan pala magaling. So, we, you would uh, certainly know the correct barum. That's how we say pronunciation, barum in Korean. Okay, sabi ni Ameludax, um, um, pahingi po copy ng self-introduction. Sige, abangin niya lang dito sa IPS Topic Online, lahat ng mga, um, ng mga ano niyo, suggestions niyo, pwede natin i-post yan dito sa IPS Topic Online. So, don't forget to like IPS Topic Online. Yan. Okay, so thank you guys. I hope to see you again next time. So, abangan nyo lang dito sa EPS Topic Online. Kamsamnida, sa durojita sa kamsamda, tamimagisimba.